Fujimiya is an ugly worthless simp who rises up the school baddie by giving her his umbrella when it was raining. He then made her fall for him and asked her out. However, before any of this, Fujimiya a worthless loser gives his umbrella to his neighbor Shanna when he sees her crying on a swing on a rainy night. Then he rushes to his apartment, getting drenched. The following day, he catches a cold and keeps sneezing while in class. His friend Itsuki wonders what happened since he was fine the previous day. When his friend asks who he gave his umbrella to, he replies that he gave it to someone who was lost. Then Shin arrives, and students surround her, calling her an angel. Every guy wants to clap her, but Fujimiya is clearly not her type. Shina got the nickname Angel because she is good at a lot of things, including being at the top of the class. Classes are over, and Fujimiya is returning to his apartment. As he is in the elevator, he realizes that his fever is getting worse. At the front of his apartment, he finds Shina waiting for him since she wanted to return the umbrella. However, when she sees how sick he is, she offers to stay with him. He refuses, but she still insists. He opens the door to his apartment and sees how messy the place looks. She left after telling him to change, and she will come back. Shin awakes Fujimi up and asks him to take his temperature. Later, she brings him porridge, and he is surprised that she can cook. She tells him that she lives alone so she has to cook. Then he asks her whether she was crying the other day because she had a fight with her boyfriend, and she replies that she didn't have a boyfriend and wonders why he thinks she has a boyfriend. He explains that it's because she is popular, so he thought she would have won her too. Feeling offended, she tells him she's not the type of girl who has multiple boyfriends. He apologizes for offending her, and she starts feeling guilty that Fujimiya got sick because he gave her his umbrella. Assuring her not to feel guilty and that it will be their only interaction, he realizes something and asks if she's only helping him so he can do something for her. After telling her that they don't need to keep interacting, she goes to her apartment, and he lies on his bed thinking that the following day they will be back to being strangers. The following morning at school, Itsuki is glad to see Fujimiya feeling better, and they walk to class together after reminding him to clean up his room. As they enter the classroom, he notices Fujimiya staring at Shana as she helps her fellow students. Fujimiya tells his friend that Shana is like a star he can't reach. Later that night after school, Fujimiya is drinking an energy jelly on his balcony when Shana notices him and later knocks on his door offering him a meal since he told her it's his supper. He thanks her after telling him to stop calling her angel and to eat his three meals properly. She left. Fujimiya takes a bite of the food and notices how delicious the food is. The following day he goes to return the container, and she gives him another container filled with food. He starts to refuse, and she explains that she made a lot then asks if he has allergies. He replies and tells her that people get the wrong idea when one does that kind of stuff. Bruh. Shana continues giving him food every day. On a certain morning, he asks his friend Itsuki whether he looks healthy. His friend replies that he looks pale wondering if he has changed his diet. He explains that he is forced to change his diet. After school, he meets Shana at the supermarket and promises her that he wasn't stalking her, and she replies that she knows since it's the only supermarket that's closer. Returning to their apartments, Shana knocks on his door and hears a noise from the other side. Once the door opens, she explains that she came to collect the container and wonders what that noise was. He explains that he is trying to clean up his apartment but he tripped and also doesn't know how to do it. Shana offers to help him, and they start cleaning together, guiding him on what to do with his scattered stuff. As she moves to clean the air conditioner, she slips on his cloth. Luckily, he makes her fall on him before she lands on the ground. Moments later, they order pizza and eat their dinner while chatting. He learns that she's from a rich family. After dinner and cleaning the apartment, he escorts her to the door as she carries the container. Fujimiya asks what she gets from giving him meals every day. She replies that self-satisfaction and that she loves showing off her cooking skills. She then goes to her apartment while he stands in his doorway. Fujimiya finds Shina on the playground. She had hurt her ankle while helping a cat. He tells her to wait for him. Then he comes back with a first aid box and helps her with her ankle. Then he gives her his trousers and a top, saying she doesn't want to be seen with him. He carries her on his back and takes her to her apartment. The following day at school, he wears shorts during a sports day. Itsuki asks if he's going to wear shorts for the whole year to call her angel, and he proceeds, telling her that girls were happy as well when the prince waved at them. Fujimiya notices that she's not interested in the prince. Looking in the container, he gets excited seeing that she prepared the food he likes, and she tells him to warm it. He expresses that he would like a freshly prepared meal. She stares at him and tells him that if she wants him to come cook for him, she has to delicious. After eating the food, they do the dishes together. He asks her if she's okay with cooking with him every day, saying he is undeserving. She tells him if he doesn't want her to cook for him, she will stop. He quickly replies that she should cook for him. The following day, the students finish writing their exams. Itsuki asks Fujimiya how the exams were. 
and he replies that they weren't good and weren't bad. Itsuki explains that he always says that, but he ends up in the top 30. Fujimiya replies that it's because he's always thinking about his girlfriend. Then his friend's girlfriend appears, telling Itsuki that they should go, then returns it, seeing that her birthday is in four days. He asks her what she would like to have when she's in his kitchen making food for him. She replies that she wants a school student. Shina replies that she's not an ordinary high school student. On their way home, Fujimiya begs Chitos, Itsuki's girlfriend, to go shopping to the mall with him so he can get a girl a present and she agrees after making him buy her crepes. Later that night, after dinner, he tries to hand her the present, explaining it's her birthday. He asks why she received his, and she replies that he's not a stranger. A lady rings the doorbell to Fujimiya's apartment. He opens the door and realizes that it's his mother. Since he has company in his apartment, he tries his best to get his mother to leave without entering his apartment, but when she reminds him that she's the one that pays for it, he lets her in. As she looks around the lounge, Fujimiya goes to his bedroom and gives Shina the keys, telling her to sneak out so her mother doesn't see her. He walks outside of his room while his mother begins getting suspicious as she has seen the plates, too. He explains that his friend comes to eat with him sometimes, standing in front of his room's door, blocking the ways so his mother doesn't enter. She wonders what he is hiding, but he still doesn't allow her to enter his room. Eventually, his mother outsmarts him and opens the door. She gets surprised when she sees the beautiful girl sleeping beside his bed while holding her back. Fujimiya's mother tells him that he has a beautiful girlfriend and wonders how he managed to pull such a baddie. Fujimiya tries to explain that they are just friends. Due to their loud voices, Shana wakes up. Fujimiya tells Shana that his mother has misunderstood them. She should try explaining that they are not dating. Fujimiya's mother walks to Shana and introduces herself as Shihoko. After Shihoko introduced herself, she then tells Fujimiya to call his girlfriend by her first name. Fujimiya then corrects her, saying they are not a couple. She looks at her, and she says at least they should start clapping if they don't want to be a couple. Shina explains that they just have meals together, she cooks for him since he can't cook. He tells her to give up explaining because his mother doesn't listen when she's excited. Once she calms down, she finally understands that Shina cooks and cleans for his son, so she begs her to continue taking care of him. She stands up to leave and calls Shina to the side, asking for her number once she left. He sighs, saying his mother got the wrong picture. She replies that there's nothing that can go wrong. Then she explains that it's been long since anyone calls her by her first name, Shina, saying it feels special. He calls her by her first name, earning a gasp from her as she stares at him. Then she calls him Fujimiya, and they promise not to call each other by their first names in school, saying it will be their little secret. The following day at school, the results are out, and students gather to see how they have passed. Fujimiya sees his name and notices that Shana is on the top of the class as usual. At him, she finds a cake in the freezer, saying she never knew Fujimiya likes cake. He replies that it's not his cake but her rice cakes. Stop it. Get some help. A present for passing exams and she works hard, saying it's nice to get a reward for that sometimes. She takes the cake and sits next to him on the couch, a fork in her hand. She takes a bite of the cake and tries to feed him on the second bite. After a lot of convincing, he actually eats the cake. Then he takes the fork from her and feeds her the cake. She makes noises while chewing, making him think she will get him in trouble. He then goes to the supermarket to get ingredients so he can try to make dinner for himself but he's scared that he might not like his prepared meal since she's so used to eating Shana. He then sighs, thinking she spoils him too much. He meets Shana in the hallway, waiting for the elevator. He notices the bag in her hand. And he explains. She offers to be in the kitchen with him to keep an eye on things. By the time he was done making the fried vegetables and omelette, he was panting like he just stopped running. She tastes the food and tells him where he went wrong. Then she gives him the omelette she prepared. The following day at school, Shidos asks Fujimiya if they can have a Christmas party at his apartment since he lives alone. At first, Fujimiya refused. But when Chitos brought up the present he bought, saying he has a girlfriend, he replies that it's for his neighbor who has been giving him meals then agrees to let them have a party only if it ends before dinner time. Later that night, Fujimiya and Shina plan their Christmas, saying they will play video games. And on Christmas Eve, he tells her about the party. She replies that he will come to her when he's done. On Christmas Eve, the three friends eat the food they ordered and they make fun of Fujimiya, saying maybe Angel is his neighbor. He threatens to kick them out. When Chitos notices the snow outside, she tells her boyfriend that they should go to the balcony. Upon their arrival, Fujimiya hears Chidos's voice as she asks someone what she was doing there. He runs to them and finds the couple staring at Shina. Chidos and her boyfriend are busy connecting the dots as they sit in front of Shina and Fujimiya, asking if the doll he bought was for her. He replies, and Chidos goes close to her, saying she has never seen her so close as she admires her, doing that looks like milk as she tries to touch. Chidos still admires her figure, saying it's why they call her an angel. 
Then after introductions, he makes the couple promise that they won't say a word to anyone about it at school, and they agree. Chidos explains that no one would believe it. Chidos and Shina become friends. After they left, he apologizes on behalf of Chidos, saying whenever she starts or gets annoying, she should just smack her on the head. She replies that she doesn't like violence, so she will just talk to her, and then she left to get the food. She comes back and watches as Fujimiya enjoys eating the food she has made. After he is done eating, he starts doing the dishes. As he was busy with the dishes, he asks her where she learned how to cook. She explains that the person she used to stay with taught her. He compliments her cooking skills, and she tells him that she has a long way to reach the one who taught her, since they say one should feel happiness in the food. He replies that to him. She has already reached Benzit, she finds a small bag. He explains that it's for the apartment key he has given her. Shina then stares at him, wondering why he hates dressing up, saying her mom told her how he looked when he was in middle school. He remembers that they exchanged numbers, then replies that it's not for him. She moves closer and moves. Fujimiya also touches hers. The atmosphere changes then she explains that she has a Christmas gift for him as well and gives him a scarf, which he thought is warm. Fujimiya then stares at her as he tells her that she's much more comfortable with him than before. Feeling embarrassed, she tells him to keep quiet and walks to the balcony. He follows her with a jacket, saying she will catch a cold. As they stare at the sky, he thanks her for the past two months, saying they were great, and she thanks him as well. The following day his and waits till she falls asleep. She wakes up later, and he opens the door, looking at her as she asks if she wants porridge or jelly. She replies and is about to apologize when he stops her, saying he's just doing what she did for him. He brings the food, and she finishes eating. He takes the plates so he can take them to the kitchen, but when he stares at her, he realizes that she doesn't want him to go, so he whenever she was alone. Then she starts feeling sleepy. He tells her that he's going to be there for her until New Year's Eve, and Shanna and Fujimiya are at Fujimiya's apartment hanging out. As it's their first New Year together, when midnight arrives, they wish each other a happy New Year first. Soon after, their phones start blowing up with text messages from loved ones wishing them a happy New Year together. In one of the messages, Fujimiya receives a message from his parents asking if they can pay him a visit soon. As he turns to Shina to tell her about the text, he notices that she has fallen asleep and realizes that she must have gotten tired from the cooking she had been doing during the day. Since waking her up or taking her back to her apartment is out of the question, Fujimiya decides to put her to sleep in his room while he sleeps on the couch. Upon tucking her in his bed, he can't help but simp on how beautiful she looks, so he touches her cheek and wishes her a good night before leaving for the couch. The following morning, Fujimiya returns to the room to check up on her, only to find Shina still sleeping. When he wakes her up, she naturally feels embarrassed and then asks him if he likes touching cheeks, revealing that she was actually awake the whole time when he picked her up from the sofa and put her on the bed in his room. She tells him that she pretended to be asleep just so she could see what he would do to her and was quite surprised when he only touched her cheeks. A few days later, Fujimiya's parents arrive at his apartment to pay him a visit, and they find Shana there waiting. Since it's the first time for Fujimiya's father to see Shana, he introduces himself to her and thanks her for taking care of their son and doing so much for him. Shana is quite humble and does not forget to mention that Fujimiya also looks out for her. As they spend time together, Fujimiya's mother tells them about her plan to take them to the shrine and that it has always been her dream to take her daughter to the shrine, revealing that she has brought a kimono for Shina to wear to the shrine. After getting dressed up for the shrine, Fujimiya's father compliments Fujimiya on how good he looks in formal clothes and asks him if he likes his new school and his new friends. Their conversation is interrupted when Shina walks in, looking ravishing in a kimono, and Fujimiya can't help but simp over how she looks. Upon arriving at the shrine, they find it super packed, and Fujimiya offers Shina his hand so that the two of them do not get separated. As they pray at the shrine, Fujimiya notices that Shina takes time to finish her prayer, and he later asks her what she was praying for. She reveals that she was praying for health, safety, and for them to experience more peaceful days together. Before going back home, they all enjoy a meal together, where Fujimiya and Shina share each other's soup and drink, which was an unexpected experience for Shina. After spending some quality time together on New Year, Shina, before going back to her apartment, thanks Fujimiya for the wonderful experience with his parents. As Fujimiya's parents return to their home, they encourage the two to continue their friendship and invite them to come over to their house the next summer. After celebrating the new year together, Shana and Fujimiya return to school, only to realize that news has spread all over the school about Shana being spotted at the shrine holding hands with some ugly guy. However, since Fujimiya was well-dressed for the occasion, they didn't realize that he was the one holding Shana's hand, and they speculate that Shana's mystery boyfriend is probably from another school. While Fujimiya tries to maintain his low-key profile, his classmates talk about the rumors that Shana is dating a mysterious ugly guy who she was seen with. 
Upon hearing that no one believes it could be him holding Shayna's hand, Fujimiya feels relief. He tells Shayna that a guy like him could not possibly be her boyfriend. Shayna scolds him, telling him to stop looking down on himself and that he possesses all the qualities of a good boyfriend. Hearing this, Fujimiya excuses himself to wash the dishes, while Shayna sits on the couch, embarrassed by what she has just said. With Valentine's Day approaching, Chitos visits Fujimiya's apartment all excited and as Shayna makes coffee for them, Chitos indirectly asks Fujimiya if he's made any plans for Valentine. However, she is surprised to find out that Fujimiya doesn't really cares about Valentine and is more concerned about exams than celebrating the day of love, finding it strange that despite him having chemistry with Shina he has never made any moves on her. She asks him about when he plans to make it official but to her surprise, Fujimiya asserts that he and Shina are not in that kind of relationship. However, deep inside his heart, Fujimiya wishes to be close to Shina but is afraid to tell her because she may not feel the same about him. As they enjoy the coffee, Chitos tells Fujimiya that she will buy him chocolates for Valentine's and asks him about the kind of chocolates he likes. Fujimiya tells her that though he is not a fan of chocolates he prefers the ones that are not too sweet. On Valentine's Day at school, everyone in Fujimiya's class is surprised to see that many girls have bought chocolates for Katoaki. As they watch Katoaki receive his presents, Itsuki talks to Fujimiya about Katoaki's popularity. He then informs Fujimiya that Chitos has made him chocolates with habanero, wasabi, and pepper. He also asks him if he is buying anything for Shana, and Fujimiya reveals that he is quite unsure about it. After receiving his gifts from Chitos, on his way out, Fujimiya gives Katoaki a shopping bag to carry his chocolates in and Katoaki is so thankful. Later that evening, Fujimiya doesn't like Chitos' chocolates, but luckily for him, Shana has made him a cup of hot chocolate, to Fujimiya's surprise, as she usually makes hot milk. He asks her if she did it because of Valentine's Day, and Shana agrees before storming off in embarrassment. Fujimiya follows her only to find a present on the door with a note thanking him for always taking care of her. Upon opening the present, he finds another note telling him that she has prepared orangettes for him as a Valentine's Day present since he doesn't like sweet things. As he eats the delicious orangettes, Fujimiya can't believe that Shana was paying attention when he was telling Chitos about his dislike for sweet things earlier. The next day at school, Katawaki thanks Fujimiya for the shopping bag, and everyone is surprised to see them talking. After school, Fujimiya thanks Shina for the thoughtful present and asks her if she wants his meat in return I mean what he wants in return. Shina tells him that she does not expect anything in return, but Fujimiya still insists on getting her something and tells her that he will think of something nice to get for her. Upon arriving at the gift shop, Fujimiya explains to the sales lady that he is looking for a present suitable for a female friend, and the sales lady is happy to show him around. Upon getting home, Fujimiya dresses up for white valentines and meets Shina who is very surprised but yet impressed by his looks. Upon seeing how distracted she looks, Fujimiya wants to go and change, but Shina is quick to stop him, telling him that she likes him like that. Nice. He then hands Shina her gift to open. Inside the box, Shina finds a beautiful bracelet as well as a shopping voucher for anything else that she wants, as he was not sure if one present was enough. Shina is thankful for both her presents and can't wait to wear her new bracelet, asking Fujimiya to help her put it on. The next day, as Fujimiya meets up with Itsuki at a fast food restaurant, Itsuki wants to know if Shana liked her present. Fujimiya tells him that she liked it a lot, and Itsuki is happy for him, as he is finally entering the springtime of his youth, and he is certain that soon the two of them will make their relationship official. When Fujimiya returns home, he finds Shana waiting for him to have dinner together, and when he reveals that he already had fries with Itsuki, Shana is disappointed that he will not eat the food that she cooked for him. However, Fujimiya assures her that he will eat everything. Shina is surprised that he does not worry about getting fat, and the conversation soon turns toward her body as Fujimiya points out that she also needs to add a little weight. Fujimiya grabs her wrist to make the case that she is extremely thin, but then realizes that she might not like being touched by him. Interestingly, Shina claims that she does not mind if he touches her. My time has come. But Fujimiya has noticed that she is not wearing the bracelet he bought for her. It turns out that Shina really treasures that gift, along with the teddy bear he has bought for her. That's why she does not want to wear it all the time, to ensure that it remains with her for as long as possible. As Fujimiya sits in his room, he is certain Shana looks like a young wife. With only a day to spring break, Itsuki shows up at school with a bag of clothes, asking Fujimiya if he can stay at his apartment for a few days. It turns out he had a fight with his father over Chitos and does not wish to go back home for now. Since Fujimiya is his best friend, he tells Itsuki that he can stay at his apartment, but he still asks Shana for her permission first. Later, at Fujimiya's apartment, Itsuki thanks Shana for allowing him to stay. Shana tells him to feel at home and excuses herself to prepare dinner. 
as they enjoy dinner. Itsuki can't stop raving about how delicious the meal is. That night, Itsuki tells Fujimiya that he noticed the chemistry between him and Shana and urges him to pay close attention to his feelings whenever he is with Shana to see what he is talking about. Upon hearing from Itsuki that Shana cooks delicious meals, Chetos convinces Shana to let her also move into her apartment so she can be close to Itsuki and also enjoy Shana's cooking. Shana allows her to move in. During her stay, not only did Chetos see that Shana is a good cook, but she also noticed how friendly she is despite the uptight attitude she portrays at school. One night, she took Shana's picture while holding the teddy bear that Fujimiya got her, and upon sending it to Fujimiya, he was pleased to see that Shana sleeps with the teddy. A few days later, Itsuki moved back to his house, and so did Chitos. That night, as Fujimiya and Shana enjoy their time alone, Shana suddenly receives a text message that changes her mood, and when Fujimiya asks her where it's from, she dismisses him. The following day, as Fujimiya is going to his apartment, he sees Shana outside her apartment with a strange woman. He overhears the woman telling Shana that she wants nothing to do with her. When the woman leaves, Fujimiya asks Shana who she was, and she reveals that she is Seo, her biological mother, and tells him not to worry about it as she is used to her behavior and knows that her mother hates her. Seeing the sadness in her eyes, Fujimiya refuses to let her go and insists she goes with him to his apartment. There, Shana reveals how her parents married because of shared family interests but never out of love. She tells him how her birth was a mistake and that she was raised by the housekeeper and they never really accepted her as their daughter. Currently, they are just waiting for Shana to graduate so they can get a divorce, as none of them wants to end up taking her in if they divorce before she graduates. She revealed that the day she was sitting on the swing in the rain was the day her mother told her that she is an unwanted child. Upon hearing what Shana has been through, Fujimiya finally realizes why Shina doesn't like showing her weaknesses, and he tells her that she can be herself with him and that it's okay to cry. With this, Shina cries on Fujimiya's shoulder and asks him to keep what she has told him a secret, and Fujimiya agrees. After crying her eyes out on Fujimiya's shoulder, Shina thanks him and asks if she can lean on him for a while longer, and Fujimiya agrees. She later expresses how the people who love the perfect version of her do not really know the true her, as the real her is mostly selfish, mean-spirited, and has a sharp tongue. However, Fujimiya assures her that he likes everything about her and advises her to stop second-guessing herself, as she has someone who really cares about her and will always protect her. After the talk, the two decide to go for a walk, and as they walk, Shina hugs Fujimiya from behind, thanking him for everything that he has done for her. Upon seeing cherry blossoms, Shana explains that she does not like the spring season as it reminds her of the entrance and graduation ceremonies at school, which in turn makes her recall how lonely she has always been during this time of the year. Fujimiya feels bad for Shana and reminds her that she can count on him from now on changing her perspective on cherry blossoms. A new term starts, and the students from different classes get shuffled. However, Shina, Fujimiya, Itsuki, and Chitos end up in the same class. While Shina and Fujimiya are happy to finally be in the same class, they naturally cannot afford to show their excitement publicly. Later that day at Fujimiya's apartment, Shana notices that something is bothering Fujimiya. To cheer him up, she tells him that she feels like stroking his hair. Fujimiya doesn't really mind, and at Shana's request, he lies on her lap and she starts stroking his hair. She tells him how Chitos once mentioned that stroking a man's hair nourishes romantic feelings and helps relieve stress. She tells him to relax and enjoy the moment. As she strokes his hair, she asks him about his feelings on being in the same class, and Fujimiya reveals that he did not expect it to happen. However, he tells Shana that since she is a popular girl in school and very few people know Fujimiya, he does not want both of them to get noticed together. He feels that this would simply fuel unwanted speculations and rumors, which both of them should avoid at this point. Despite her reservations, Shana eventually accepts the decision on the condition that they still act normal when at home. Fujimiya ends up falling asleep on Shana's lap. And when he finally wakes up, he is surprised to hear that he was out for an hour. The following day after school, Fujimiya goes to the arcade and ends up winning a lot of stuffed toys. He returns to his apartment very hungry and gives everything he has won to Shana. She absolutely loves the unexpected present and unknowingly ends up showing her childish nature in front of Fujimiya, who can't help but smirk at her. Shana notices it and throws a tantrum. Then she opens up about her desire to do something nice for him as well since he has been looking after her despite seeing her vulnerable side. While Fujimiya could have asked for anything from Shana, he just requests her to make pudding with lots of eggs. Shana feels that he has deliberately chosen a cheap gift, 
but Fujimiya argues that he truly values her cooking, and for him, it would mean a lot if she cooked some pudding for him. So, just as he had requested, Shana cooks a delicious pudding just for Fujimiya. Fujimiya is quite pleased after eating it and thanks Shana for everything she does for him, confessing that eating her food is the highlight of his day. The next day at school, Katawaki approaches Fujimiya and Itsuki to ask for their permission to have lunch with them. He opens up about his desire to be friends with Fujimiya in particular. Fujimiya agrees to be friends with him but asks Katawaki if he is certain that he wants to be friends with him, considering that he stands to gain nothing from their relationship. However, Katawaki is quite clear in his mind and claims that friendships are not about personal interests or profits. Meanwhile, since Fujimiya has told Shana that they have to be extremely cautious about their interactions at school to avoid any rumors, the duo ignore each other's existence. While Fujimiya is comfortable with the decision, Shana does not really like it. Later that day after school, when Fujimiya is at his apartment, Shana appears to be in a bad mood. Upon asking her what was bothering her, she reveals that she overheard his conversation with Katawaki and was quite irritated by the fact that other students in their class can approach and talk to Fujimiya. However, because of the decision that Fujimiya made, Shana cannot talk to him, and she confesses that she is feeling left out. The next day, Shana shocks Fujimiya when she picks him to be in the same group with her, alongside Itsuki and Chitos, during a cooking class project. As they work together in the school kitchen, Fujimiya finally realizes that it's not a bad thing to interact with Shana at school. Fujimiya and Shana are having coffee while chatting when Fujimiya asks Shana about the upcoming Golden Week holiday. She answers that she has nothing planned. Surprised, Fujimiya asks her about the discussion she had with Chitos concerning cooking lessons. She answers him that it's only for a day and she has no plans after that. Fujimiya pities her. Shana asks him if he will be free, to which he answers yes. She then pulls out a ticket and asks Fujimiya to spend the holiday week with her, which he agrees to. Fujimiya asks her about the plans she has made for that week, and she tells him that she did not want to make plans on her own as she wants both of them to have fun. They agree on going to the cat cafe, arcade, and shopping afterward with more fun things to do. Shana invites Chitos for the cooking lessons, but Fujimiya is very scared of Chitos as she usually makes pranks about seeing his meat. Fujimiya allows them to cook after Shina promises to watch Chitos, and he eventually falls asleep. Fujimiya wakes up on Shina's shoulder and gets uncomfortable as she might have felt pain. But she tells him that she is fine, so they go and eat. Fujimiya is still hesitant with the food Chitos cooked, but he becomes at ease when Shina says she has tasted it and it's okay. They eat, and Chitos leaves, going back to her house. Shina and Fujimiya walk up to the couch and sit down. As Shina and Fujimiya admire her hair styled up, they reach the cat cafe. Shana is mesmerized and very happy as she sees the cat, but gets sad as it runs away. They sit down and discuss more about themselves while petting some cats. She fails to drink her coffee with cat foam as she drinks it. They finish and escort Shana to the clothes department as she tries on clothes. Some girls approach Fujimiya and am out of the shop. She plays a game and wins a stuffed animal, which she gives to him. They sit down on a bench when suddenly a classmate who is his friend sees them together. He comes to join them and is curious as to when they started talking and spending time. They ask him not to tell people as they are not comfortable, as nobody knows they went out together. He promises and leaves. They wait at the train station and hold hands while discussing their experience and complimenting each other, promising to always be honest and suffocate with love. Shiana also showers Fujimiya with compliments and tells him to be more comfortable, or she will be complimenting everything he does. He promises to change, and they go home. As Fujimiya hangs out with his friends, he is reminded and asked questions about the encounter yesterday. He says there is nothing more to it as they are just friends who happen to enjoy each other's company. When they ask him why they do things together, he says because she cooks and takes care of him, and he is used to that. His friends tell him to admit that he likes her and wants to have some plot with her, but he says he is not sure if she likes him like that. Upon getting home, he finds Shina on the phone. He explains to her about the conversation he had with his friends when he went out and she tells him it must be exhausting, which he agrees. Fujimiya asks Shina what she was doing on her phone before he walked in, and she answers nothing. Upon further questioning, she tells him that she is seeing his childhood pictures sent by his mother, which surprises him. He aims for the phone, but Shina takes it away from him and accidentally slips and they fall on top of each other and kiss. He mocks her, and she gives him her phone already unlocked for him to see the pictures, but he couldn't because even though he didn't show it, the kiss affected him, and he was glad it turned out like this. Mother's Day approaches and Shina asks Fujimiya what he will be doing for his mother. Fujimiya tells her that he will send her gifts, but he would have done more if he were there. Shina questions why he never wants to go home. 
Fujimiya is not comfortable with the question, so he lies. But Shina acknowledges the lie and asks him to explain, which he does. When he was little, he had a very nice family who provided everything for him, but he was so naive to trust everyone. One day, he walked in on his friends saying they only needed him for the money. And when he approached them, they told him it wasn't a lie as he was not their real friend but rather he was around to sort their bills. He got angry and never trusted anyone since then. He moved out of that town and came here to start something new. Feeling sad for him, Shina pulls him into a hug and tells him he will be fine and she is there for him. Fujimiya refuses, saying she is spoiling him a lot and it will be hard for him to not depend on her. She insists on him leaning on her, considering it as a debt she had to pay for all the times he has been by her side. He agrees, and they hug. Fujimiya has an early morning run as he wants to be fit to be strong by Shina's side. Then he goes to school where he sees two girls from their class approach Shana asking her about the rumors they have heard concerning her and another boy going on a date to the mall the previous week, which she agrees to. When questioned if they are dating, she says no. She also says it is a person she holds dear as he is very important in her life. Meanwhile, as Fujimiya is hearing this, he panics but doesn't say a word. Upon getting home, he asks her about the conversation she had with the girls and why she answered them like that. She tells him if she hadn't done it, they would still investigate and find out, so they just save themselves, which he agrees to. As they make and eat dinner, Shina questions why he has started running. He explains that it will help him with his male pride to be sharper. She offers to pamper him and asks him to choose anything he would like her to do for him. He gets scared as he notices that she can do anything he asks her to. She exclaims to like Fujimiya's touch, which makes him panic. Fujimiya has wet dreams about Shana where she kisses him, and he wakes up with his bed and clothes wet. He goes and washes his clothes, feeling embarrassed and disgusted. He tries to avoid her by ignoring and being cold towards her. Upon reaching home, she approaches him and asks what she did wrong, to which he answers nothing at first. But she insists, and he explains to her about his dream. She is surprised and a bit happy that he thinks of her that way, but he is humiliated and turns around telling her not to look at him, which she does. He explains how he has never experienced anything like that before, and she explains by saying he is her first, as she has never experienced it too, which makes him panic. Fujimiya informs Shana about the study party that he is having with his friends the following day, which she asks if she should make any snacks for. But Fujimiya refuses, not wanting to bother her. However, she suggests just cooking a lot of food and keeping some. He invites her, and she agrees for both her and Chidos, as they also wanted to have a study party. Shidos comes with Fujimiya's friends, and they all study and later eat, praising Shana for the delicious food. As the day ends, they all go home, leaving Shana and Fujimiya together. The results of the exams are out, and Amain scored number 6 while Shana came in number 1. They congratulate each other, and Shana reminds him about the promised gift if he gets into the top 10. As they get home, Shana starts cooking, and Fujimiya comes and asks her what she would want as she deserves a gift herself for being in first place. She assigns him to slice the cucumber, which he does gladly. As they finish, Shana invites Fujimiya onto her lap for his present, but being a virgin as he is he hesitates, which upsets Shana. He explains that he didn't think it through now that he is looking at it. He lays there, and she starts fixing his ears after she pats his head, and he falls asleep. When he wakes up, he finds Shana sleeping upright. He gets up and tells her to go sleep, which she refuses, but he insists and helps her to her room. Upon getting there, he puts her into bed, but she refuses for him to go, rather pats the bed, signaling him to get in bed with her. Fujimiya tries so hard, and he is successful in saying no. He gives her one of her teddy bears and makes her sleep, which she does. Shina goes to Fujimiya's house early in the morning and asks him if he saw a picture that was on the dressing table, which he refuses, saying he thought it was not nice to look around a person's room without their consent. But he explains that she wanted him to sleep next to her, but he refused, which made her very embarrassed. She apologizes and left for school. Shina goes to Fujimi and shows him her bare legs as it is summertime, and she will stop wearing tights. But Fujimiya does not look at her legs, thinking to himself that he won't be able to control himself, so he tells her to not stop putting on tights. But she misinterprets it as him not wanting to look at her because he does not like it. He clarifies that a lot of guys would be looking at her legs as they are attractive, and he does not want that. She understands and blushes a bit. She puts on some tights and goes to school. At school, his friends notice he is not happy, but he brushes them off and tells them nothing is wrong. After school ends, Chidos and Nikon go together, and Fujimiya is left with Katoaki. They plan to spend the afternoon together. As they are about to leave, they bump into Shana, who has work she needs to do for their lecture. The teacher assigned her to sort a lot of papers, so Fujimiya cancels on Katoaki, telling him to postpone as he should help her with the papers. Katoaki says it's okay as he was thinking of helping her as well, which they did. They spent the rest of the afternoon sorting that out. 
And when they finished, Sheena thanks and apologizes to them for delaying them, but they tell her that they gladly did it, just as they are about to go home. They overhear a group of girls gossiping about Sheena, talking about her as if she likes chatting with boys a lot, but she didn't say anything, rather just looked down and kept quiet. When they got home, he expresses how hurt he is with those girls, but she explains that people about her a lot and she is now used to that, just as long as they don't say it to her face, she will be fine. She explains that as long as she has someone who believes and loves her for who she is, it's enough for her. She then promises not to be too friendly anymore, but Fujimiya stops her and tells her he doesn't know how to react when people find out her real behavior. Boys might start to like her more every day. Shina tells him not to worry as there is no guy who is as decent as him, and she only enjoys his company. She is fully satisfied with what they have, which makes Fujimiya happy. He explains how she was very cold and strict at first, but now she is the most important person in his life. She tells him he is cute. Shina tells him he is cute, and he pins her to the chair, telling her next time she does that he will not shut her up. She gives him a peck and runs to her room. Fujimiya is left surprised. At school, they act as if they don't know each other, and everyone is surprised. The school is hosting a sports day, and everyone has to participate. Fujimiya signs up for the scavenger run, while Shina signs up for scavenger run and another sport. Fujimiya's friends ask him what has happened, and he explains. They tell to take they go home, and Fujimiya and Shina discuss what happened the night before. Fujimiya tells her to never do that again as they might end up clapping each other. Shana blames him as he was the one who kissed her first, which he agrees to, so he apologizes. They then start discussing the upcoming sports day, with Fujimiya making it clear that he doesn't like sports at all. When she asks him, he says it's because everybody forced him. Fujimiya excuses him run starts. Shana runs up to Fujimiya and tells him Fujimiya himself was surprised. He looked at Shana, who was smiling and feeling very happy. As they get to the classroom, a lot of guys come after Fujimiya, asking him if he is the man that has been clapping Shana. He says yes. The boys get angry and start belittling him, which Shana didn't like, and intervenes, asking them what they meant when they talked to him like that. They answer that he is not worthy of her and don't understand why she chose him. She explains to them that she didn't go for looks but for how he treated her. When no one was there for her, he stayed and looked after her, making sure she gets better every day, catering to her and looking after her. He respects her and understands her, values her, and above all, stays by her side. Everyone was shocked, and they all left. At home, Fujimiya encourages himself to approach her and let her know how he feels. But Sheena comes and starts by apologizing to him for letting the whole school know like that without telling him first. And he apologizes for not saying it any sooner as he also likes her a lot. Fujimiya asks her to be his girlfriend, fulfilled with her. They hug, and she leans on his chest, with the day ending in a happy place. Will Fujimiya and Shina making their relationship public make things better for them or not? Let's confuse the fake fans by commenting rip Shina. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel.